Good afternoon. I am Mr. Romano. I am a fourth grade co-teacher for Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship. Currently with the pandemic going around, um, I've been doing like work from home. So I've been uploading videos, teaching, so I can still connect with my class. I actually have two very good students. Um, they actually are my cousin's children. I have Gia. Say hi. Hi. I have Gabby. Say hi. Hi. And you guys, where do you go to school? Third. What grade are you guys in? Third. Third grade? Okay. Beautiful. You will be my classroom today. So... As we get going, today's lesson is going to be water and climate, drops of water investigation. So our unit essential question, how is water involved in weather and are weather conditions the same around the world and through the year? Now, you guys, I have a question. What do you know about water? Gia, what do you know about water? Gabby, what do you know about water? Um, what can you tell me about weather? Is it always the same? Is it always the same weather, no matter where we are? It rains. It can rain. It can rain. What else? It's cloudy. It could be cloudy. Does clouds automatically mean rain? No. No, right? What else could it be? Um, sunny. Sunny, right? What about when it gets really cold? Does it rain? No. No, it snows, right? It gets so cold, the water freezes, right? You know what temperature for water freezes at? What is it? Um, what? Uh, freezes at? Mm -hmm. Take a guess. 350. No. A lot colder. What, like five, um, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, right? 30? So at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, oh. water freezes, then turns into snow. Okay? Cool. So... Today, our investigation guide in question, how does water interact with other materials? Water is all around us. And I asked you guys, again, what can you tell me about water? It could rain. Yes. It could yes. Does, does water pool up all the time? No. no. What else? What can happen when it rains? What happens if it rains too much? There could be puddles. could be puddles, right? Can they be deep? Yeah. Can they be shallow? Yeah. What does that depend on? Yeah, how much water actually falls, right? It also could be what kind of surface, right, it falls on. Now, if water falls on grass, does grass become, a, like, super deep with water? Mm -hmm. Not all the time, right? You need a lot of grass because what happens? What does grass do with water? It absorbs. Thank you, keyword, good job. It absorbs water, right? So what about pavement? What about, like, the driveway? Does that get deep with water? Well, if there's holes. Maybe if there's holes in it, but what if there's not? What if it's solid? Like solid stone, rock. No, because it's so dense, it doesn't absorb any water, correct? Okay, very good. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Okay, so our focus question for today, what happens when water falls on different surfaces? We are going to do our own investigation. So we're going to run an experiment. We are going to place individual drops of water on four different surfaces and record findings on your sheet. Now, we have... Printed paper, wax paper, paper towel, and aluminum foil. We also have two cups of water right here and two droppers that are going to be able to drop and simulate water falling. So, Gia, could you please go over to the table and grab the aluminum foil and the wax paper and give one to yourself and Gabby, please. Go ahead. Wait, so it's a tin foil? Yep, and the wax paper. Come back over. You're going to put one here, one of each, one of each. There you go. Go ahead, grab a seat. Thank you. Gabby, can you go grab the printer paper? And instead of paper towel, we're going to use notebook lined paper. Isn't that the same thing? It is not the same. One's a little thicker. Uh, just one sheet each. So you each have one. What else? That's it. One, of, one for her, one for you. Yep, and then you need one for yourself. You need one of these, and she needs one of the printed papers. Perfect. As you can see, we have our laboratory set up. We have our water. We have our dropper. We are now ready to run our experiment. So, 
Here's what I would like you guys to do before we get into the additional challenges. Gia, Gabby, please step forward. I would like you to use the aluminum foil first. So you put this over here, right? You have your medicine dropper. I want you to, do you guys ever use one before? Yeah. Do you know how to like suck the water up? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd like you to take a little bit of water and in the center of your foil, just squirt one drop. Yep, one drop. Okay. <laughs> Can barely see it because it is light out, okay? Now what's happening, it's okay. What's happening on your foil, Gabby? Where's the water? Right there. Right there. Is it a, would you say it's a pool? What would you say? Like, it's right, let me see if I can, my finger can get it, guys, right there. What happened? Did the aluminum foil absorb the water? No. No, what's it doing? It's staying in one place. It's staying in one place, right? It's not disappearing. It's not getting sucked down into it, right? Gia, would you say the same thing happened on your paper? I can't see it. It's okay, right? I'm trying to do that. So look, I can kind of see the water moving if I move it, right? It's like a puddle. It's like a puddle, right? It's like if you were to go outside in a rainstorm, Right? Not a pool, because it's not deep enough, right? It's but it'd be a, what, a little shallow puddle of water. Okay, very good. Now, I want you guys to fold them over. Just fold it in half, it's okay. If it gets wet, it's all right. That's what happens with science, it gets a little messy. Okay, and I'll just put that on the floor. Very good, okay. Now take the printer paper, which is the clear the clear, the uh, plain white paper. Take one sheet. Okay, and again, in the center of your page, I want you to put one squirt, so one drop, not a, one drop. Good, perfect, perfect. Okay, now, what do we got here? What's happening? It's a tiny puddle. Okay. It's not deep, shallow. Right, what about here, same thing? Yeah. Right, they look the same. Question, why did it, stay a nice neat little put, little bubble right of water on this paper and not the aluminum foil on the foil it kind of dispersed a little what happened the foil, it, the, the, the foil it like folds off when it does it so then it will move around a lot absolutely it has cre very good it has creases right and all those creases right make it a non-flat surface and this is Exactly, right? So what happens? It's able to just sit on top. Perfect. I want you, I'm going to slide them this way, right? Because we're going to get back to this paper. I want you guys to take the wax paper next. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to simply put one drop right in the middle. Okay, very good. Go ahead, G. One drop. Perfect. Now, would you say, now that little drop of water is like the clearest one you can see? Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Yes. Out, of the, out of the first three you've done. Because it, Why? Because this is, you could kind of see through it. Mm hmm And then water is clear and this is kind of clear. Okay. So you could see it better if, like, something is clear on a clear, like, on, like, kind of a clear paper. Okay, yeah, right? So, like, light's reflecting off of it better because you have the light-colored wax paper, the white table, the light reflects off, reflects off of it, and now you can see, right? It looks like a little, like, gemstone almost, right? Mm -hmm. Same thing over here. Why do you think the water doesn't permeate or absorb into the wax paper? Because, um, it feels like... It's like wax, kind of. It okay. It's like wax, but it's paper. I. Okay. Right. It's, it's, it's like dried. Um, it feels like the dried wax. Yeah, right? So it's not like, it's, right, slowly but surely, right, it is going into it, right? It's not just like loose leaf paper, right? Paper's very thin, right? It doesn't have a coating. This has a wax coating. It kind of keeps, it's supposed to kind of keep water and like liquid out, right? But look what happened. What happened over time? It absorbed. It absorbed into it, right? And now, it, well, the water's not gone, but it's right here, right? And the same thing. Why is yours, you think, staying? Because she put a tiny 
maybe right put a little didn't put a lot so do you think the amount of water dictates whether it gets absorbed or not right because what what happened if you do it slowly, right? It could. Now listen. It, what do you think would happen if you left that drop there for an hour? Do you think it would absorb or stay the same? Absorb. Why? Because these are the same wax paper. Yes. So if you have the same, the kind of the same amount of water, it will absorb too because it's the same thing. Exactly right. So you put a little bit more water. Therefore, it put a little bit was a little heavier and it kind of went through that barrier, right? That wax barrier and it got absorbed, right? And I'm telling you, we leave that there. It will go through over time. Okay. And finally, I would like you to take the loose leaf paper. Now, I want you to do it right here, Gia, because I don't want it to get soaked over there. All right. Now, before you do, I have a question. Do you think the water is going to absorb into the paper? Yes or no? Yes. Why? Because... This paper is thicker than this one. Okay. This and did it go in? Did it absorb into the no. printer paper? No. Well, not right away, right? Yeah. It did. But not right away. Right. Took a little. Took a little bit of time. So put one drop on. Okay. Look at that. Chilling. Chilling. Now, what did you both just say about? it being absorbed. Did you say it was going to get absorbed? Yeah. Right? Guess what? You're wrong. And that's okay. That's what science is about, right? You're allowed to be wrong. We're having an experiment. Do all experiments go right 100% of the time? No. no. Right? That's just not possible. That's not how the world works, right? So you made a, an assumption, right? You did your experiment. You were wrong. And what do you do? You record your results. Now, someone like me, I probably would have said the same thing if I've never done this before. Oh, yeah, well, this paper's super thin. Therefore, it's probably going to get absorbed. But again, maybe not, right? It all depends on how much water you put. Now, you guys put two little tiny drops. Now, keep this paper right there. Put a little bit more water in your droppers. We are going to do an additional set of experiments. Get my screensaver off the screen. Okay, so... Question, what happens to the circles of water when you add more and more drops to make them bigger? Go ahead. Go right on top. Right on top. Keep going. Yep, right on top. Drop, drop, drop. What's happening? What's happening, Gia? It's making a bigger puddle. Yep. It looks like it's absorbing. Yeah. Oh, and the paper is nope, don't. You don't got to... Paper's what? Getting wet, right? Yeah, and it's like... I don't know. Yeah, it's absorbing it's through, right? It still looks like a giant, like a bubble of water, like a little puddle, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Number two. How close together can you put two drops of water without having them touch? Now, I would like you to put a drop of water there and then try and get super close without having them touch. Let's see you try, Gab. That's pretty close. Gia, let's see you try. Sorry. Okay. What happens when they touch? Go ahead. Well, it Tap it with your little knot with the nozzle, the little top. Try and bring them together. What happened? It gets bigger. It gets bigger. Does it still absorb? Is it still going to no. absorb? No. Eventually, right? Eventually, it's going to break that barrier and get in. Gia, go ahead. You try. Bring them together. Boom. It gets bigger. Now you have what? Instead of two little puddles of water, you have one bigger puddle of water. Okay. Can a drop of water bounce off another drop of water? No. Let's try it. Here's what I want you to try. Drop it on the big one. Let me see. What happened? It didn't um, it, go back up. It didn't, it didn't bounce off, right? You tried, Gia. Boom. Whoopsies. No, what happened? It didn't. It gets bigger, it right? Gets Why do you think it can't bounce off? Because water, if you have one puddle of water and then you put another drop... Water is the same thing as water, so it won't. Yeah, right? It's made of the same yeah. stuff, right? It has the same consistency. Is water hard? No. No, right? It's liquid, right? Can things bounce off liquid? No. Not necessarily. It can bounce solid, though. Solid, right? So all that's going to happen is this puddle, it's not going to bounce off. It's just going to keep getting what? Bigger. And? Smaller. Nope, bigger and bigger and? Bigger. And bigger, right? Until it absorbs through the paper. Now, can you drag... A drop of water around with the dropper tip. 
So, can you take, Gabby, can you take that and drag it across the paper? What happened? It started going. It started and then it stopped. And then what happened? You ran out of? Water. Yeah, right? Try from the bigger one. See how much, see if you can do it. No, right? Why do you think it happens? Why do you think it doesn't just stretch all the way through? Maybe. You didn't drag enough? Maybe you didn't drag enough, right? Why else, Gia? Why do you think you can't just drag that puddle of water? Because if you drag it, it's just going to sit there because if it's absorbing, it's going to get soggy. And then exactly. It's going to dry up. Eventually. eventually, right? But yeah, as you drag it, right, this water, this is a liquid, right? So you really can't stretch it too far before it breaks its like form, right? And as you stretch it out and it becomes thinner and thinner, it's going to absorb and then you have it, right? So if you were to, let's say, freeze that drop of water at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. It would look like an ice cube. It would be an ice cube. Can you push an ice cube along a piece of paper? No. An ice cube you probably could, right? If I were to take one out of my freezer, you could probably drag it across because it's solid, right? This is a liquid. So, what shapes are the drops of water as they fall through the air? This one, I would like you to hold up your dropper, and I want you to really watch it fall out. What does it look like when it drops out? Do you push it down? Push it down, drop, drop one. What does it look like? What shape is that? It looks a raindrop. Looks like a raindrop, right? What else? Gia, what do you think it looks like? It looks like raindrops falling from the sky. Exactly. Can you actually see raindrops falling if you're standing in the middle of, like, the parking lot and it's raining? No. Where do you see raindrops? If you're in your house, you can look at them. And where do you see them? On what surface? The puddles. Puddles, right? But you can also see, well, they're hitting the puddles. You could see them hit the what? When you're, What do you look out of in a house? The sky. Not the sky. You look out the... The roof. I mean, the window. The window, right? And you see drops of water beating up on your window. Right? And then you could see kind of what they look like. And then they just, what? They streak down. Yeah. Okay. I got water. That's okay. Cleanup's going to be easy. No stress. So, let's discuss. What are some similarities and differences between the appearances of water on different surfaces? So, does the water look the same on each surface? The loose leaf, the wax, the printed paper, and the aluminum. The water looks the same, but it's different... They're all different pieces, mm -hmm. so they look different because this one absorbed, this one absorbed, yep. and this one didn't. Yep, well, eventually it will absorb, right? So what did it look like? Go back to the aluminum. What did it look like? You said the aluminum. It looked like it like this. It was up like this one. Mm -hmm. but like a puddle. And then there was crackles in it, so it made it get bigger and bigger. Yes. And it just... What? Did it stay in in like a drop form? No. It was just what? Loose? Loose. And it, water. Like a pool. Exactly. It was just like water on a piece of paper, right? On a piece of foil. Gabby, what are some similarities on the different, on the uh, surfaces with the water? What are some similarities you can see? On the printer paper and the live paper, it absorbs a little bit. Mm -hmm. And on the wax paper, it looks like a bubble. Yeah. So as we can see, look, it's still just chilling on the wax paper, right? It's not absorbed yet. What do we say? Over time, it will. Eventually, it'll either evaporate or it'll absorb through, right? Very good. You guys are killing it. So describe what water looks like on each different surface. Gia, on the aluminum foil, the water looked like what? You just said it. A pool. A pool, right? Didn't really hold the drop form. Gabby, on the loose leaf, describe what it looks like, please. Um, when you hold the syringe, Okay, so you guys just brought up a very good point. Height, right? So the higher it, the fall, it will splatter and it will get all over the place. Very good, right? The higher risk of it, what? Not holding the shape of a. Not a puddle of the drop, drop, right? So if you were to drop this 
on all four from a little bit high, right? So a short distance, short height, excuse me, it's gonna stay like that. But the higher you go, it's gonna splatter. Very good observation, Gabby, very good. What about on the printer paper? Gia, what did it look like? Did it drop up? Did it become a drop or was it like a pool right away? Exactly, right? It was able to move freely on that foil because what? It's got that... Flat surface. Exactly, right? And it doesn't absorb water easily. You guys are doing such an amazing job. So when we look at our results, when water soaks into a surface, we say the surface absorbs the water. What do we say, Gia? It, what, it, what's the water? It absorbs the water. Very good. When water sits on top of a surface in drops... We call the drops beads and say the water beads up on a waterproof surface. Which of these surfaces is waterproof? This one. That's waterproof? Water, what does waterproof mean? Let's break that down first. Gabby, what does it mean to be Gabby, what does it mean to be waterproof? Like it could get wet. It could get wet or it can't get wet? It could. It could be the opposite, right? Waterproof means like if I have waterproof... It, well, if you threw your phone in the water, it could, it could work or it could stop working. And they have cases where it could... Exactly, right? Perfect. Come in so they could get wet and they won't break. And that's called the case being waterproof. waterproof. Proof. Very good, right? So Gabby, waterproof means that it can't get wet, right? So right now on my phone, I have an OtterBox. They're famous for being waterproof, which means I could throw my phone, which I would never do. I could throw my phone into any body of water, right? Any, any puddle, let's say, and it'll still work fine. It won't get wet, right? So if the water is soaking through, which it did on this, this, and this, is that waterproof or not waterproof? Not waterproof. Which of these four surfaces was waterproof? This one. Not that this one. one. Not that one. It's the one that you don't see on the table right now. The tin foil. Why, Gia? Why is it waterproof? The water what? Because it didn't. It stayed in. It didn't stay in one place, but it didn't. Well, I have an idea. You put water in yours, right? Tilt. Open your paper. Open it up on over there and tilt it. Good. Is it still wet? No. Yes, it is. Yes. Still wet, right? Yeah. So what would you say? Did the water absorb into it? No. No, right? It's, it's water waterproof. Proof, right? Okay. So, these are different ways water interacts with surfaces. Now, that concludes our lesson for today, our experiment. Be sure to come at me next week when we are going to have a quiz on this information, right? We're going to have our vocab terms. Absorb, bead, waterproof, interacts, right? Everything that was underlined. And I'm also going to have different definitions, right, for you guys to know, right? We're going to have a word bank, things like that. So on Friday, so today is Monday, on Friday, you guys are going to have a quiz on this, okay? Right? And that'll be your assessment. And then tomorrow, when we get into the next topic, right, we're going to talk about how, like, different forms of water, right? Solid, liquid, gas, all that stuff, right? Okay. All right, guys, you did a fantastic job. Appreciate it. Say bye.